Have you ever wondered why your blood pressure might surge when a doctor wraps that cuff around your arm? You're not alone. This is known as the white coat effect. And today we're going to discuss this intriguing phenomenon and the white coat hypertension. So let's get to it. Rewind to 1983 when Mancia and his team first comprehensively described the white coat effect. They compared cuff and intra-arterial bedside measurements of blood pressure, setting a foundation for understanding this health-related curiosity. Others, like Pickering et al. and Stanley et al. have made significant contributions to this topic as well. The root of the white coat effect lies in what's called an alerting reaction. This triggers a reflex activation of the sympathetic nervous system, which is a body's rapid involuntary response to stressful or emergency situations. This understanding of the physiological mechanisms behind the white coat effect has been bolstered by a variety of studies over the years. Research has taken us down an unexpected path, revealing that the size of the white coat effect seems to be independent of the risk of cardiovascular disease. This supports findings by Verdecchia and his team, who also found no connection between the size of the white coat effect and the presence of left ventricular hypertrophy, a condition where the muscle wall of the heart's left ventricle becomes thickened. An interesting twist to this tale is that the white coat effect tends to grow with age and the stiffening of conduit arteries. This suggests that decreased baroreceptor sensitivity may play a significant role in this phenomenon. As we age, psychic stress can lead to wider blood pressure swings, particularly in older individuals resulting in larger increases in the white coat effect. In a clinical setting, the white coat effect can greatly influence blood pressure readings, particularly in older adults with isolated systolic hypertension. An earlier study by the International Database of Ambulatory Blood Pressure in Relation to Cardiovascular Outcome, or EDECO, found that the white coat effect in older treatment naive people exceeded daytime ambulatory blood pressure monitoring by a significant amount. As we wrap up our exploration of the white coat effect, it's clear that this phenomenon has substantial implications for cardiovascular health. Grasping its mechanisms and impacts is vital for managing hypertension effectively and providing optimal patient care. White coat hypertension refers to elevated blood pressure readings in medical settings due to stress or anxiety. Treatment depends on factors like severity, overall health, and cardiovascular risk. If readings outside medical settings are normal and there are no other risks, treatment is not usually needed but regular monitoring is important. Although controversial, new studies have shown that treatment may be needed for those with white coat with elevated readings, additional risk factors, and or target organ damage, which involve lifestyle changes and possibly medication. The decision should be made with healthcare professionals based on individual health and risks. Thank you for tuning in to Hypertension Resistant to Treatment and subscribe for more.